Chloe and Cameron are first year students and have signed up for our Intro to 3D Design and Print workshop. Chloe enjoyed learning the basics of 3D design in high school, but Cameron has never touched a 3D printer. Leading a workshop where participants have a wide range of experience can be challenging. We're doing two things to overcome this instructional challenge. First, We've made our workshops mainly self-paced so that participants can work through hands-on activities as fast or as slow as they want. Secondly, we're helping Cameron and Chloe arrive at the workshop closer to the same skill level by providing workshop materials to work through along with informal feedback. This allows Chloe to skim through the pre-workshop instruction while Cameron methodically works through the pre-workshop activities, giving them both feedback. This allows Chloe and Cameron to arrive at the workshop closer to the same knowledge level. The primary tool we use to create interactive pre-workshop materials is the open source Lumi editor and publisher. Lumi allows us to create and embed over 50 different games, quizzes, videos, and other tools in web pages, along with formative assessments. And what is formative assessment? It refers to the ongoing low stakes evaluations to help students monitor their learning progress, unlike final exams, which measure overall achievement at the end of a course. Let's look at four examples of how Lumi's H5P activities can assist learners in checking their understanding while working through web-based instruction modules. For example, in this pre-workshop safety video, students are given text overlaid on the video to highlight the differences between the 3D printers in the video and our Makerspace printers. Near the end of the video, it pauses and prompts learners to complete a quiz for formative assessment, letting Chloe and Cameron know how well they understand the safety information. This safety equipment game map is a fun and engaging way to lead learners through videos and text, describing how four different safety equipment tools should be used. The map ends with a formative assessment quiz. Virtual tours of your makerspace not only help people get familiar with its layout, but can also help them learn about safety equipment. This VR tour has embedded text and video about all of the safety equipment in the room and is followed by a formative assessment. The branching scenario tool helps simulate situations that are difficult or dangerous to train for in real life. This is a social worker sample simulation but I'm currently working on a laser cutter fire simulation. This will help learners to practice quickly choosing an appropriate suppression tool for different types of fires. Feedback is provided immediately and allows learners like Chloe and Cameron to redo simulations until they get them right. How can you get started with Lumi? The easiest way is to use the free Lumi editor to create H5P activities that can be easily embedded with any file-based website or WordPress or Drupal website. Lumi published activities can also be integrated into learning management systems like Canvas and Brightspace by exporting activities from Lumi and then importing them into the learning management system. With a bit of planning and creativity, Lumi can be a useful instruction and formative assessment tool for learners and provide feedback to instructors to identify where learners are struggling. I hope Lumi can help you elevate your workshop and safety instruction as much as it did for our makerspace.